All right, everyone. In this video, pag-uusapan po natin ang Alternergy Holdings Corp or Alter IPO, no? Now, tulad ng lahat ng preliminary IPO videos natin, this will be shorter and a bit less detailed. Pero you can rest assured na kapag updated na po lahat ng ibang mga detalye, magre-release din po tayo ng follow-up video that fills in all the blanks. Alright? Now, Alternergy was founded by former Energy Chief Vicente S. Perez Jr., it has 67 megawatts of operating assets in solar and wind, plus 62 megawatts of solar and hydro projects that have, quote-unquote, reached financial close. Alter says that its entire project pipeline has over 1.2 gigawatts of gross capacity. Now, etong tidbit po na to ay nakuha po natin from Mercado Barcada. So, shout out lang po at maraming salamat po sa information, no? Ah, sineshare ko lang po siya sa inyo. Now, let's move on to the key details. Ano ba ang ticker symbol nito? It's going to be Alter, based po sa prospectus niya as of this recording. Now, obviously, pwede pa pong magbago yon, no? At kapag nagbago po to, I'll update you guys. Ang offer price po nito will be up to 1.48 or a maximum of 1 peso and 48 cents. Uh, na-mention ko nga before no, na parang lately, hindi na sila naglalabas ng range. Diba dati ko napapansin nyo, sabihin nila kunyari uh, from 65 cents to 90 cents, parang ganon. No? Ngayon, it's all just up to ganyan or a maximum of ganyan. So, Alter is no different. Offer price will be up to 1.48. No? And they're looking to raise 2.18 billion. Now, the final price date for Alter, hindi pa siya determined. Pero it's going to be between October 20 to November 3, 2022 daw. No? Now, uh, I'll keep an eye on this. Babantayan ko to para sa inyong lahat. No? So kapag na-release na yung final price, dun din po marirelease yung follow-up video natin. Kasi kadalasan, yun yung last piece of the puzzle na hinihintay natin para makompleto po yung mga detalye natin no? for any particular IPO. Now, the offer period will be from November 11 to November 17, 2022. At ang listing date for Alter will be on November 25, 2022. Okay? Now, the sole issue manager and lead underwriter for, for tong Alter na IPO will be ICCP or Investment and Capital Corporation of the Philippines. No? Now, again, it behooves me to remind you na... Make sure na alam nyo po yung track record ng underwriter ng isang IPO para lang po meron kayong idea on how well or how poorly they might perform moving forward. Siyempre, hindi lang naman po yun yung end-all and be-all ng decision-making process natin, but it should be a part of it because it's important. Diba? Kadalasan, kapag ka magaling yung underwriter, mas maganda yung performance ng isang particular na IPO as compared na kapag kayong uh, reputation or, or historical performance ng isang underwriter ay eh, medyo underwhelming, kadalasan hindi rin po ganun kaganda yung nagiging performance ng isang particular na IPO. Okay? So make sure to check it out. At doon sa mga lagi nagtatanong, paano ko pong malalaman yan? Unfortunately, wala pong shortcut, no? You're gonna have to go through PSE Edge or check yung mga news articles. Tignan nyo yung mga lumabas na IPOs for the past 3 to 5 years. Diba? Yun yung minimum natin na range. Tapos tignan nyo, ano ba yung naging performance? Sino ba yung mga underwriter nila? And so on. And you can start forming your own matrix to see kung alin yung okay, alin yung hindi, and so on. Alright? Now, Meron bang stabilizing fund? Meron daw po according to the prospectus but to be determined pa ang stabilizing agent niya. So again, once these details come out, I'll make sure that I keep you guys posted. No? Now, yung shares allocation nito is typical lang. 70% goes to sa mga institutions, 20% to trading participants and retail offer, meaning ito po yung uh, naibibigay kapag susubscribe kayo through your uh, broker, no? Tapos, 10% to LSI, meaning via PSEEC. Now, again, if hindi pa po kayong marunong paano mag-subscribe or mag-avail lang IPO, whether it's through PSEEC or via your broker, I've posted video links in the description box below kung saan pinapaliwanag ko po to, no? In fact, pinakita ko pa ano yung naging resulta after na makakuha ako na allocation. 
Okay? So be sure to check those out kapag ka hindi pa po kayo ganong marunong. Na syempre kapag ka marunong na kayo, eh kung pwede check them out na rin lang, no? Tulong na lang 'yun. <laughs> Maraming salamat, no? But uh, kung hindi nyo alam kung ano yung PSE Easy then I've included a link to their site as well in the description box below. But essentially, it's an, well, for lack of a better term, easy way para sa mga small investors like us na maka-avail ng mga IPO. Okay? Uh, as far as I can ascertain, mas madaling maakuha ng allocation via PSE Easy than it is through other means. But don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Hindi ko namang gawain na mag-subscribe sa lahat ng IPO. Okay, but from what I hear, from what I know, mas madali daw po makakuha ng allocation via PSE Easy. Okay? Now, saan gagamitin ng Alter yung proceeds nila? Well, number one is for the funding ng Solana Solar Project. Tapos construction ng Lamut Hydro Project. Hopefully, wala akong nabubutcher sa mga salitang to, no? Acquiring a majority stake in Kirahon Solar Energy Corp. Tapos may pre-development expenses sila for the following. Ibulao Hydro Project, Tanay Wind Project, Calavite Offshore Wind Project, and Alabat Wind Project. And then syempre, the usual favorite na sinasabi nila na for uh, general use, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, kami nang bahala. No? Diba? Yung lagi natin sinasabi. So meron silang line din doon. Hindi ko na sinama dito kasi medyo mahaba na eh yung listahan ng use of proceeds natin. Now, for me, personally, I really like it kapag ka yung proceeds na nakuha ng isang IPO instead na binabayad sa utang or parang pinupundar for the future, eto ginagamit agad. Parang itong Solana Solar Project, end of the year yata yan eh, parang Q4. Diba? So parang ginagamit nila agad yung pera, may pinupuntahan agad. And for me, that's a good thing. But, Personally, inaaral ko pa rin to to see if it's something that I would be interested in trading. Depende rin kung ano yung kalagayan ng market natin come time na uh, mag-open up yung offer period nitong alter. No? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. As I said, it's a short video just to whet your appetite. Diba? Kung baga to whet your lips. Uh, dito sa alter na IPO. Let me know in the description box below. Is this something that interests you? Kasi alam ko, renewable energy is a, kumbaga, a hot button no? for a lot of people. So, is this an IPO that interests you? Yes? No? Why? Diba? Pakisabi naman sa comment section. I want to hear from all of you. no? And as always, guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.